Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be showing you how to sew metal ribbon bars onto this uniform here. We're going to sew um, a single bar on, a double bar and then a triple bar. And then I'll do a, another video for um, a four bar and a five bar. So basically we sew these ribbon bars on the left hand above the left hand pocket of the chest of the uniform this is my old number two dress but um, on a future army dress uniform or a uh, number one dress uniform it's all the same the ribbon bars fit central to the buttonhole on top of the pocket so that's quite straightforward to know where they go so basically what you need is um a medium sized needle or a bigger needle i normally use a smaller needle but if you're not used to sewing it's probably best to use a bigger needle for this job so you need some thread as well so always try and use a thread that matches the uniform so if any uh, threads visible it's not so visible if you get what i'm saying it will be hidden because it's the same color so when you do these ribbon bars I always use double double thickness of the thread, i.e. not a single strand of the thread. I use two strands together. So basically all you do is get two th strands like that and pull them together like so. So it's best to use beeswax. So you get a bit of beeswax and you just pull the thread through the beeswax. This actually makes it stronger and prevents it from tangling you can actually do it without doubling it over using single thread but the ribbon bar won't be so tight on the uniform and um, it's just a lot easier and a lot stronger to use it double so right i've done that i've beeswaxed that up now now i need to thread the needle so all you do is chop the thread if you put the scissors ways you'll get a point on the thread which is just easier to thread the needle then so i'm just going to thread the needle now what we need to do is put a knot on the end of the thread so when you pull it through it can anchor onto the inside of the uniform so what you do is just make a loop like so put that tail end of the thread upwards and then just twist it round a few times and then pull the end of the thread and hey presto we get a knot so trim the thread thread off after the knot so we're ready to start sewing now so like i say we've made a video before actually making these ribbon bars so if you look at those videos you can actually see how to make the ribbon bars so this is a single ribbon bar that i've made on one of the videos so all you do is put the ribbon bar on top of the pocket central sorry about that i've missed something out there's something very important you've got to make sure you do and that's keep the lining nice and flat on the inside so a little trick to prevent the lining from rucking up inside and keeping nice and straight is just put some pins in the uniform just to hold the lining in position so if you just hold the lining flat to the inside of the jacket and put a few pins in when you start sewing you know the lining's not going to move right so that lining's nice and straight now on the inside so go back to where i was before get your ribbon bar and put it central at the top of the pocket like so hold it with your thumb straight and then your other fingers on the insides holding it clamping it from the inside so just check again that it's in position central you can imagine a line running up from the buttonhole through the center of the ribbon so to start with go with your needle and thread on the inside of the jacket and just come out at the bottom right hand corner of the ribbon bar and pull your thread through and then the knot that you put in the thread will anchor in 
and then you catch the ribbon on the back of the metal ribbon bar and pull it through like so and then down back through to the inside of the jacket that's your first stitch gone in like so just check that it's still central if it's moved a bit you can just gently move it into position again so it's all nice and straight so you need need two stitches to start just to hold it and anchor it into place so come back up again from that bottom right hand position on the bottom right hand corner of the ribbon and pull the thread quite tight and then go through the back of the ribbon making sure you catch some of the ribbon at the top of the ribbon so then when you sew back into the uniform it'll hold that ribbon flush into place like so right i'm happy with that it's central so i've put a couple of stitches in so if you just come along a couple of millimeters come out at the top of the pocket pull the thread through and then you just repeat the process you go in the back of the ribbon and then come out at the top and then back through to the inside it's just like going round in a circle basically and catching the back of the ribbon like so and then all you do is just keep coming down a few millimeters at a time you can spread the stitches out to about three millimeters apart so as you come through the top just pull it quite tight and then it's anchoring it down nicely don't forget to come out at the top of the ribbon bar catch the ribbon so like i say when you go back in again it makes the ribbon flush to the jacket and all you do is just carry on going along the ribbon putting your stitches in the back coming out the top sewing it through to the inside pulling it as you're going into the inside and then as you're coming back up again from the jacket just pull it quite tight so it anchors the thread nicely at the back most important thing i think doing these is making sure that you catch the ribbon as you're coming out of the top of the ribbon so then look what i'm doing now i'm pulling the thread through it's pulling the ribbon nice and flat to the uniform that gives you a good finish so i think i've put about i don't know seven or eight stitches in so far just repeating the process going round and round in a circle through the back of the ribbon make sure you catch the top of the ribbon and then back down like so so i'm coming towards the end of the ribbon now i'm going to put a stitch in here and then i'm going to put two anchor stitches right at the end of the ribbon and then that will hold it secure at the end of the ribbon if you don't put the stitches right towards the end of the ribbon then it might stick out a bit it just makes sure it anchors it really good to the uniform so that's one stitch at the end i'm just going to put another one in there pull it through go right through the back of the ribbon bar come out at the top like so and then sew through to the inside again you can see because i put the pins in and as i was sewing with my fingers on the inside i was just making sure that the lining was nice and flat so i've got a nice finish on the back as well so i've pulled that quite tight you don't need to go crazy and then to finish off just pick a bit of lining up a couple of millimeters like that and this is called tying off all you do is get your thread and you wrap it round twice and then pull it tight my thread's got a bit knotted up here though which doesn't normally happen so i've just cut that off it's still anchored it down nicely so as you can see 
that's a sing ribbon bar attached to the uniform it looks really good looks nice and neat it's solid on there it won't move it's nice and tight on the top um, and like I say on the inside it's very neat as well so basically that is how to sew a single metal ribbon bar onto a uniform and like I say it's the same process any other uniform RF uniform or a blues uniform number one dress uniform just the same thing because you just put it above that pocket there Okay, then let's move on to do a two bar now. So this is the Army Long Service and the Platinum Jubilee ribbon. So same process as the single bar. I've put my um, pins in to hold the line in straight at the back so it doesn't get rucked up. If you've got any old stitches in there, just get them out. So I'm going to line my ribbon bar up with the top of the pocket central to the buttonhole like before and then hold it with my thumb and my other fingers are inside the jacket making sure the lining's nice and tight. I've threaded another needle up somewhere. Oh, here it is. Is that it? No. <laughs> right, here we go. I've threaded a, a needle up. I used double amount of cotton and, and beeswaxed it to make it strong and stop it tangling. Right, so here we go. I've got a hold of my ribbon bar, got it in position. Make sure your lining's flat inside and then come out the bottom right hand side of the ribbon bar. Pull the needle through. And then I'll show you a close up of what actually happens on the, on the back of the ribbon bar. So basically the needle goes in the bottom right hand corner there and then comes out the top right hand corner. You can see that. So that basically holds it flat to the uniform when you go back down. So I'm going to go back down to the inside of the uniform and put my first stitch in. OK, when you put your first stitch in, just make sure you're happy that it's central. And if you are, if not, you can move it a millimetre or two just to make sure it's central and then come back up with your second stitch. Pull it quite tight then go back of the ribbon going at the back pull it through make sure you catch some of the ribbon at the top and then go back into the inside of the uniform so i've put two stitches in there i'm going to start coming across here you can put three stitches in if you want to anchor it down really well so i'm going to stick another one in because i just feel like it so We've actually put three stitches at the end, so that's going to be absolutely solid and ain't going to be going anywhere. So I'm just going to move along now the ribbon. I'm going to come along about three millimetres, coming out at the top of the pocket, pulling the thread through, going through the back of the ribbon of the ribbon bar, coming out the top, and then going back into the inside. Like I said on the single one, it's a bit, it's just like going round in circles catching the back and this system this method is so good because it holds the ribbon bar so flush to the uniform and makes it look really smart so put three or four stitches in so far i'm just moving along now along the ribbon pulling it up going through the back of the ribbon And then pulling it tight just make sure your lining's nice and flat on the inside as you're going along you can feel it if it starts rucking up just flatten it down and then you should get a good finish so just keep repeating the process Make sure you pull it quite tight because you've got to pull it close to the uniform. The best time to pull it tight is like now when you come up from the inside, pull it tight there. Go through to the top, catching the top of the ribbon, 
pull it tight a bit and then go through to the inside and then pull it quite tight. Right, I'm onto the other ribbon now, moving on every four millimetres, three millimetres. I mean, you can put as many stitches as you want in. I tend to do like every three millimetres, maybe four millimetres. I find that's enough to hold the ribbon bar in place. Just another little tip for you. I'm using sharp needles. I've always found for tailoring stuff that the sharp needles are the best needles to use. Where you thread the eye, it's quite thin. They seem to be very strong needles and um, they're, they're really good for like small felling stitches. So if you get an opportunity to get some sharp needles, I recommend them. So I'm coming towards the end of the ribbon, coming up from the, to the top of the pocket, catching the back of the ribbon, making sure you catch the ribbon at the top as you come out back to the inside. So I'm coming to the end again. Don't forget when you get to the end, make sure you get the stitches right at the end, because if you don't, there's a danger of the ribbon sticking out a bit. So I've put my first stitch in there at the end generally put two in can put three in if you want you can see and feel whether the ribbon bars sewn down nice and flat to the uniform as you can see this one's really flat i'll just put a couple of more stitches in on the way back down a little bit this is just purely to anchor it off nice and tight. Okay, so I'm going to go onto the inside now. You can see the linings nice and flat. And then to finish off, like the other ribbon bar, you just pick a couple of millimetres of lining, wrap the thread around the needle two or three times, then pull through slowly. And then it makes a nice knot there, which anchors it off. You can put two in if you want. This thread looks a bit dodgy, so I'm going to push me look now. See if I can get two in. Oh no, it's playing ball. Right. So I've put two knots in there, so that's not going anywhere. Let's take the pins out and have a look at the finished job. So that's absolutely solid on the uniform if you look at the the top edge it's really flat to the uniform looks nice and smart running along the top of that pocket nice and central so that's how to put a two bar ribbon on right we're gonna do the last ribbon bar now which is a three ribbon bar i'm gonna do this one a lot quicker um, what you can do is you need to find the center of the ribbon bar if you can see I've just marked it right at the center so I can uh, make it central a lot easier you can use like Taylor's chalk to do that or you can get little pencils uh, Taylor's pencils to make a mark on it so I've got um, a needle threaded up now with double thickness thread and I'm ready to go so same process as before get the ribbon bar central and then hold it with your thumb and then your thing fingers on the inside of the uniform making sure it's central to the buttonhole come up on the bottom right hand corner of the ribbon go through the back of the ribbon catching the ribbon at the top and then sewing back down to the inside i've put pins again on the uniform to make sure that the lining keeps nice and straight so that's my second stitch going in now just check that it's still central which it is go through the back of the ribbon and hold it on tight down to the inside i tend to if i'm doing a three four or five i might put three stitches in at the end because they're a bit bigger and it will just be a bit more sturdier 
just make sure you don't catch the pocket top of the pocket as you're coming up and go through the back of the ribbon and then back into the uniform just note if you're doing metal ribbon bars like this one at the end the cadet force long service bar that you get the blue stripe or the senior stripe in the right position um, in this case the blue the dark blue stripe here needs to be closer to the center of the chest and then the light blue stripe needs to be near the sleeve and then you'll have the uh, the ribbon in the right position so just be aware of that because a lot of ribbons do have different colored ribbons either side so just make sure they're in the right order I'm going to do a video about order of wear of ribbon bars. We're going to look at decorations, orders, campaign medals, commemorative medals, long service medals and foreign awards. So you can get all your medals in the right order, in the right position. So I'm just coming along the ribbon bar now. I've put about six or seven stitches in. Right, then I'm coming to the end of this ribbon bar now, so I'm going to put three or four stitches coming up to the end, at least two or three right at the end, so it anchors it down nice and tight. Don't forget when you come to the end of the ribbon, make sure that you actually catch the end of the ribbon. Like I've said previously, it prevents it from bending forward, sticking out a bit. You just know that the end of the ribbon is going to be totally anchored down nice and strong. Don't forget, keep, make sure you get the ribbon when you come out the top of the bar. And then, like I say, it makes it really flat and flush to the uniform. So I'm pulling it quite tight-ish just to anchor it down nice and flat to the uniform. So basically that's my last stitch I've put in there. I'm going to come to the inside. You can see the linings nice and flat and smooth. That's how you want it. You don't want it all rucked up. So again, to tie off, just pick a bit of the material lining up three millimetres worth and then just wrap the thread around the needle two or three times and then pull slowly without knotting it up. And then it puts a knot in the end there you can do it twice just for belt and braces to make sure it doesn't come undone and then just trim it off with a pair of scissors and take your pins out if you've got a bit of chalk on your ribbon for finding the center just give it a brush off i'm actually going to do a video for the final process of putting metal ribbon bars onto a uniform and that's to put metal loops above the ribbon bar so you can slide your brooch through the metal loops to suspend your medals on a uniform. But this is showing you how to sew a single, a double and a triple metal ribbon bar on, on a uniform. I hope you've enjoyed it. You can see that that's quite, well, it's very tight. It's not going anywhere. It's really snug at the top of the bar, as you can see, to the uniform looks really smart so it'd be absolutely amazing if you guys can try and do this um, metal ribbon pieces you can buy on the internet um, Windsor medals you can get we sell them uh, eight inch strips 
um, or in your clothing stores, in your camps maybe, you can get the um, ribbons and the buckram uh, you can get on eBay. But like I say, I've done a video on how to make the ribbon bars and now I've done a video on how to fit the ribbon bar to the uniform. I'll do the loops uh, video very soon. So like I say, please subscribe if you've enjoyed this uh, video. I'm going to do lots of content for tailoring stuff and uh, lots of information about British medals and British military. So if you've not subscribed, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.